Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. So today's video is going to be very much so fitness related, mainly on the topic of fitness at home and reviewing this Yesul stationary bike behind me right here. This is in collaboration with Yesul, so thank you to Yesul for sending it over and allowing me to review it and share my thoughts and opinions with you guys for anyone that is also interested in something like that. Something that I don't talk about a lot on my channel, but is a very integral part of my life is fitness and working out, namely working out from home. I have been working out from home since before I had kids. And then after I had kids, it just became even more so convenient. It's just a great way for me to, you know, live a healthier lifestyle, take care of my body, build my endurance, my strength. And I have tried so many different apps and programs and things like that throughout the years. I've also had an elliptical before. I really love that throughout my pregnancies. And after I had kids, it was just a great way for me to kind of like have my endurance going and not lose that. When we moved, I sold that. And then Yesul reached out sometime last year. I didn't make it for that campaign, but they reached out again this year on a new campaign. And I was really excited to be able to make it for that one. So this is the Yesul G1M Plus bike, which retails for $4.99, so essentially $500. With code TOSH, it comes out to $3.99, which in my opinion is a really, really good deal considering the competitor prices out there. I feel like the market has definitely grown and expanded at this point in Yesul. Is kind of like wedging its way up to the top when it comes to people that are looking for a good quality product but doesn't cost an arm and a leg and this is one of the main reasons why i agreed to collaborate is because i feel like this price range is a lot more achievable and doable for the average person versus something like fifteen hundred dollars or more and in this video i wanted to share first share about the bike like how to adjust it how it works just like the overall appearance of it things like that and then the main thing, the TV screen, which I think is really great for the price range of $3.99, you're getting a 21 and a half inch screen right here, which you can connect to your phone and screenplay just about anything that's on your phone. And then I'll also go through the app and how that functions as well. And hopefully this can help you make a better and informed decision if you are in the market for something like this. I'm not here to convince you to buy it, but if you are in the market for something like this, I genuinely think this is a great option. Currently we do live in the RV as we are in the process of building our future home. So this is a very, very small space and it's right now sitting in our living room area right in front of the TV as you guys can tell. But if you do have a small space, I do think that this is a great option. It's big, but it's not bulky. And it's also pretty lightweight. To move it, it has these two wheels on the front. You just tilt it on the wheels and you can easily move it back and forth, no problem. I can do it myself. Assembling it was also very easy. You don't have to pay an extra fee for somebody to come and assemble it. My husband actually did it within, I think it was like maybe 30 minutes, maybe a little bit more. The bike itself uses magnetic resistance. I've turned it up all the way to 100 and I will say you can get some pretty, decent workouts in using this bike. The pedals, they do, everything comes with a bike. So everything that you need comes with a bike, including the cage for your sneakers. So you don't have to buy special cycling shoes for this. It comes with a universal cage clips and you can loosen it or tighten it to your preference. So I love that it already comes with everything that you need, including the wires to hook it up to your phone or any other device that you might need. Now onto the adjustments that the bike has. The seat height is adjustable. So there's a knob in the back. You turn that knob and you can adjust the seat to your height level. Mine is set to 11 for my height level my kids use it every day so i have to adjust it every single day the actual seat itself is also adjustable so there's a knob underneath that you can loosen and you can move the seat forward or push it back depending on your preference the seat itself i would say did take me a little bit of time to get used to in the beginning i'm pretty used to it at this point and i don't even think about it and i also like that it has this little vent in the middle there is no air blowing through it but it does allow air through so you're not like sitting in a pool of sweat or anything like that and it's pretty decently cushioned and pretty decent width in my opinion. Other adjustments you can do is in the front there is a knob where you can adjust the height of the handlebars. I'm not going to adjust it in this video. And then the red knob, that is the resistance knob. So you turn it clockwise to increase the resistance and then turn it counterclockwise to decrease the resistance. And then if you want to do a full stop, kind of like brake, you just press it down, it will brake for you. And last but not least, before I talk about the TV screen and then the app options, it has two water bottle holders in the front, so you can put your water bottle there for easy access during your workout. So that's kind of the gist of the overall appearance and the different knobs and stuff. Now on to how I use it personally in my life. So we were at a family reunion and I was talking to my sister-in-law, Tina, she's really big into fitness. 
and she goes to the gym, does cross training, started running. I told her that I wanted to get into running. And we started talking about the benefits of zone two cardio. So zone two is one of the five zones of the heart rate zones when you're working out. And zone two is great for many reasons. One of them is the ability to utilize oxygen efficiently during a workout. That's definitely something that I want to work out as well as build my endurance. It's recommended to do it for, I don't know how many minutes. I think it was like 120, 160, 180 minutes per week. Problem is, is I get kind of bored doing the same thing for extended periods of time. So what I'll do is I'll sit on the bike and I'll turn on a sermon. You can turn on a YouTube video. There's so many different things that you can do with the streaming capabilities of the TV screen here. And you kind of like just do two things at once. So you're listening to a sermon, getting that in at the same time while you're getting your zone two cardio in. And before you know it, 30, 60 minutes is up and you're getting health benefits, spiritual benefits. So a lot of great things at once. So that's one way that I'll use it. Another way is I've been loving the programs of the app, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. I have tried the Peloton app not the bike version because that's the peloton plus i've tried the regular version where you can do like cardio workouts hit workouts strength workouts i've done that for a little bit i think i did it for like six months i've also tried a ton of different other apps and i will say compared to a lot of the other apps that i have tried this one is very well rounded i'll take you guys through the home screen and all of that it has not only bike workouts it also has some cardio strength workouts some yoga i believe stretching the instructors are very professional. They kind of guide you through verbal cues, especially as you're riding the bike to make sure your core is engaged, you know, your shoulders are pulled back and down and you're sitting properly, you're not hunched over. So very professional, very well thought out app. So now let me show you guys how I personally use it as I work out. The bike does come with this 21 and a half inch screen right here. It has 360 speakers. You have speakers all across. This button in the middle, this is what is going to control the audio or Bluetooth mode. When I click it one time, Bluetooth mode. it says Bluetooth mode. So what Bluetooth mode is, is being able to stream via Bluetooth. You're not going to get the TV screen. You're just going to get the audio out of the speakers. When you connect anything to the screen via this cord right here, which does come with the bike, you are going to have to switch from Bluetooth to audio mode. Otherwise, you will not hear the audio on whatever it is that you are streaming. So click it once again. Audio mode. And then plug it into your device. It also has an HDMI cord, I believe, but I have it tucked away somewhere because I don't need it. And it will basically screen mirror whatever is on your device, which I think is absolutely amazing. I'm going to briefly talk about the app. So this is the Yes Soul Fitness app right here, which you can get for iOS or Android. This is what the home screen looks like right here. So up top you have your streaks. Um, this is all my kids. It's not me <laughs> this week. My kids love using it literally every single day. Right here you will see my program. So this section right here is any programs that you might have completed or currently have ongoing. So let me go back here at the bottom. This right here is their workout section. You have a section for programs, classes, the schedule. So any programs that you start will be found on the home screen under this section right here because it took me a little bit of time to like figure out where it was and then you have a section for some promos a recommended for you and then here at the bottom you have just ride so you can ride just like that and it'll just kind of like give you the stats although you'll also get the stats if you are not plugged into the phone so let me disconnect the phone for a second this is what the screen will look like and it turns off by itself so you don't have to kind of press anything to turn it off you can unplug it if you wanted to but eventually the screen will go black if it's not in use so you do get the stats even without it being plugged into anything but if you wanted to track your workouts yes Soul app does have that option as well so that's the just ride option and then you when you swipe to the right you have the scenic rides so with the scenic rides if you are not subscribed to the yes Soul app which i believe it's 9.99 a month uh, right now i'm doing the i think three month free trial but only one scenic ride I believe is available to ride for free. The other ones you have to access via subscription service. All right, and this right here is the workout section here. So here you can choose different programs. You can select by goals, you can select by intensity. So they have beginner and intermediate. I still do beginner because let me tell you, it gets a good workout in. So these are the different programs that they have. Or you can just start a class if you wanna do a class. They have a section for bicycle classes, yoga, strength, stretch, and cardio. So if you wanted to, you can use one of the other classes and the screen is fully adjustable so you can move it to the side, tilt it if you wanted to, and kind of do the workout from the middle of your own living room, which to me is a great option because I can also use my other workout app that I have. So I use Be The Method. So this way I'm able to stream on a much bigger screen. I can tilt it and do this workout from a bigger screen in the middle of my living room instead of just using my phone. I mean, obviously you can use your laptop or whatever, but it's just like a great all-in-one. And you don't have to use a Yesul app. You can honestly use any 
any app that you want. You can find just YouTube videos, ride along on YouTube. You can watch sermons, like I said. The possibilities are endless. Let's do a 20 minute pop climb. Hey guys, welcome back to the- I turned on the volume so I don't get flagged, but I kind of wanted to do a rundown of how the app works and the workouts work. So when you're playing it, up here up top, you'll see that this bar is moving. So this is what part of the workout you are at. So right now it's in the introduction and next we have a sitting flat road. So you can always see where you are at. This shows how many seconds are left in this section. And then this tells you what is coming up. So you always know where you are at, what's coming up and how many seconds are left. Here you have your cadence. So right now I'm not riding the bike, so it's zero. When I start moving my wheel, obviously my cadence is going to increase. Once the workout starts and the song starts playing, each song has a different cadence. So the cadence of this song is 68 to 88. So you want your cadence to match that of the song and you wanna be within this range. This right here is your power level. This is the resistance. So right now my bike is at zero resistance. If I increase it, my resistance will increase. So let me give it a few turns. Right now it's at six, 18. So you always, always know what resistance you're riding at. I believe these are just basic stats to the workout. If you wanted to know your personal stats, they will be found right here. And then underneath, you can't really tell because it's overlaid. It says like 1851, 1850. This tells you how much of the workout is left, how much time you have left in the workout. This chart I don't use. I always kind of like exited it out. And then when you tap on the screen, let me pause it. You'll see this come up right here. So each video is always set to auto. I believe if you don't have the subscription, you could only go up to 720p. I'm not 100% sure, but I always switch it to 1080p. Right now I have the free trial, so I am able to switch it. The heart is heart rate monitor. If you wanted to search for a heart rate monitor, I do have like a fitness ring, just like a random one that I bought. It doesn't, it's not able to find it, so I can't pair it. And then captions, you have to also manually turn off. A lot of the videos have captions and you have to turn them off every single video. I do wish it kind of like saved the settings, but it doesn't. And then the question mark, that is where it's going to show you how you should be positioning your seat height, your knee bend, and just like overall your handlebar distance and any adjustments that you need to make sure the bike is fitted to you properly basically. I'm gonna do this 20 minute pop climb. I think I actually already did this one. I do have a beginner class that you can take just to kind of get used to everything. It's one of their programs. There is never a workout that you will regret. You will always feel good after working out. So if you're like me and you love to work out at home and you're looking for an affordable stationary bike or maybe a way to incorporate these things into your workout routine, I would highly recommend looking into the Yesul G1M Plus. Again, with my coach Hosh, comes up to $3.99. Thank you again to Yesul for collaborating with me on this. And I hope this video was helpful. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in future videos.